talk about music and uh, copyright. I'm going to be talking about uh, some of those things and why those two things are very, very related because copyright issues mainly coming from the music. That's why I decided to take them all together. So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about all the uh, music uh, for your YouTube videos and some things about content strike, copyright strikes and copyright claims. So let's just get into it so you have to be very 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 careful uh, about the music because music is the first reason why the many videos are actually getting claimed or even taken down with the copyright strikes we're going to be talking about copyright claims copyright strikes shortly in uh, this lecture so what do you need to do? You need to think about very safe places to get your music from. Usually people are just the very beginners at least. I'm pretty sure you are not on this level, but the very beginners are just taking some music from their favorite music videos and just putting them in there into uh, their uh, YouTube videos and it just gets claimed or taken down immediately because they do not have rights to use uh, this content. You have to have the right to use certain content and pro probably the majority of the content unless the content is your, or your own or you're using the content under the fair use, you need to have a right to use the content. For the music, there is practically no chance that you can say that the music is used under fair use, and unless it's a very, very rare case uh, that I'm not gonna even talk about because it's so rare that uh, music falls under the fair use that it's not even uh, necessary to talk about this. So just know that you cannot use the music unless you have the right to use those. So here are three rules that you need to follow. So first is try to use YouTube's music library. You have an access to YouTube music's library uh, through the YouTube studio. You can just get there and just choose whatever music you want, download the music and use it. There are actually two different types of music, but we're going to talk about this just in a second. Otherwise, it's the free method. This is, of course, absolutely free. You can use whatever music you want in however amount of videos that you want because this music is cleared by YouTube itself. Uh, then you can use a special services like Epidemic Sound and Pretzel Rocks. I highly suggest you use both of those. These are the services that provide you with the music, with the rights to use them for your YouTube videos and in many cases for any other platforms as well, unless you are using it for the commercial purposes. For example, unless you are like using this for TV commercials, etc. So this is just for your content. You can fully use music from Epidemic Sound and the Pretzel Rocks. Uh, but this is the, the completely different services, so they have their own services. So I highly suggest you to read about them. Uh, Epidemic Sound is a paid service, but it's very, very, very good service, like amazing service. Pretzel Rocks is... Just, uh, it's it's not in like epidemic sound pretzel rocks is a service it's basically a music player with a bunch of playlists that it can play musics from this is better to use in live streams or for example if you're just talking and just if you want to have the background music for commentary that yeah, the pretzel rocks will do just fine as well and one thing to do is to absolutely avoid no copyright music channels you're gonna see so many no copyright music channels on youtube so 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 many promising you that their their music is absolutely copyright free and you can just go and use it how in however videos you want how many many videos you want etc etc majority of them absolute majority of them are absolute liars and they are giving you rights to use those musics for the music that they have rights to and then they will just simply start claiming the musics and demonetizing your videos or or if your videos are not monetized monetizing the videos for themselves and this is absolutely the worst thing that you could do avoid like fire avoid them 100% I've seen a bunch of tutorials on YouTube itself telling that oh no copyright musics uh, are safe there are actually some safe channels but it, they, it has been diluted so 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 much that you cannot just use it, uh, that you cannot trust just anyone. So just completely, completely avoid it. Do not use 
these services. Now let's now talk about YouTube Music Library. They're absolutely safe to use because YouTube has cleared them themselves. So you have absolute right to use them. You have like you're absolutely safe. There is only one caveat that you need to look into it. It's that you'll tr you need to try, just try to avoid music with attribution because some music uh, tracks will have an attribution required, meaning that you need to write in your description that this music is uh, is the like uh, property of those and those like music is made by this and this like writer artist name etc etc they have everything in them it's not that it's bad to use such music it's that sometimes you might forget to attribute music and it might it might be a bit, bit problematic in some cases so just try just try to try try to avoid this it's not a bad thing if you will do this and if you remember to attribute all the music and all the songs that you use in your description it's absolutely okay but just why would you add work to yourself when you can't have a less work with the same results? So just try to avoid songs with attribution as much as you can. This is YouTube's music library is the safest, meaning the safest for your monetization and anti-claim and anti-strike, safest place to use your music. The second safest place is paid music services like Epidemic Sound and Pretzel Rocks. Pretzel Rocks is not paid actually, or it, it is actually paid to be fair. It has a paid and free options. If you are using free, it's, it's mainly me for live streaming. So uh, the, the, it's like different payment and different monetization models. So just know that you can use it if you want. But, uh, and Epidemic Sound, but sometimes, just sometimes those songs are still getting claimed many times wrongfully many times by mistake so you can uh, just uh, dispute this if you want it's not a problem but many cases in many cases then uh, it just it's just a mistake that it goes through because all the claiming of the songs is done through the youtube automatic service and sometimes it might get a by mistake so you have to be uh, like very vigilant about this it sometimes will happen for example for me with the pretzel rocks uh two times with me two times uh, my uh, my video got claimed and both of the times when i disputed both of the times they got all the claims got uh, taken away and to be fair the claims were for the melody yes you can get claimed with a melody as well not just with the song but the melody and it turns out that it was a mistake and just both of the disputes were turned back but it will happen and if you want to know how to dispute you you're gonna know it's it's very very e easy thing to understand when you will get a copyright claim and of course avoid the rest only use the paid services or the youtube service itself and avoid everything else like every single thing else uh, there are a bunch of uh, paid services as well you need to just uh, research the stuff i highly suggest you to go with an epidemic sound if you want like one stop shop for everything epidemic sound has everything that you need for the music and for the sound effects just go with an epidemic sound if you want just one safe place for everything and avoid all the no copyright music channels on youtube like absolutely avoid them as soon as your channel will start growing you're gonna your comment section is going to get bombarded by a bunch of different channels saying oh they love your videos etc etc oh the music and stuff etc is you want a music just use my music etc etc they are trying to bait you to use their music and when they use your music and will upload the video or maybe you're gonna lose your uh, source file or something like that they're gonna just claim it or not right away maybe but but a few months down down the line and then you're basically done you cannot do anything with this uh, other than taking down the video and re-uploading without the music which will not be the best choice to do just avoid them use either youtube library for the music or epidemic sound i would say not do not go with the pretzel logs unless you are live streaming now as for the copyright claims and copyright strikes these are two very 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 different things so copyright claims are actually pretty safe for your channel they do not affect your channel at all and you may get probably thousands of copyright claims depending on how you use your music for example i streamed one time the 
came with the Star Wars music uh because it has like it was a modification with the star wars, star wars music and for the five hour live stream <laughs> i got around I, I think it was like somewhere around 50 to 100 copyright claims for the one video for the one video and it did not affect my channel at all like at all because copyright claims are absolutely safe so when you get a copyright claim you get an email that you're uh, you got a copyright claim and they will say that you this is absolutely saved you had to nothing to worry about you can get any number of copyright claims literally any numbers you can get thousands of copyright claims it, yeah don't try to get thousands of copyright claims because the, the, this this might be a problematic for you in the future but still you can and claim videos will lose the monetization that if you are monetiz monetizing the videos all the monetization it will lose uh, I, I, I wrote it wrong wrongfully it will not lose monetization but it will lose monetization for you uh it means that this entire video would be monetized by the person who claimed the video or by the company whoever it is is it uh, fair absolutely not because if you use just five seconds of different uh, of song of other individual even if you get a five hour video entire five hour uh, monetization things will money will go to those individual who owns only five seconds of it so just be ready that copyright claims will happen and you will be, uh, your video will start getting monetized even if you are your channel is not monetized if someone will claim it so just know that as for copyright strike this is the problem copyright strike is very dangerous because you can get only three of it and if you get three copyright strikes you are getting banned your entire channel will be deleted and there is nothing you can do about it that's dangerous because you will get a warning after the first and the video will be taken down the one that got a strike you'll get entire channel demonetized after the second and you'll get ban banned after the third each and every strike i think it has six month period so after six months they will disappear but i highly suggest you to not get any strikes ever ever do not get any strikes ever and i highly suggest you to always dispute copyright strikes you when you get a copyright strike you you, you will have a dispute button right there and you can just go and dispute it telling why it's the problem why it's wrongful or why you had the right to use different songs or whatever uh, the thing that you use that got striked actually you can get strike for the things other than the songs because you might be thinking that you're using it in a fair use but then actually it's not a fair use because fair use is the thing that allows you to use transformative work not just re-upload and with, with no difference fair use means that you can use some kind of work some kind of copyrighted material if you are transforming it meaning that if you are putting your own commentary if you are modifying it in somehow in some way meaning that you are transforming it into the something different but it's a very 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 gray area legally uh, as a lawyer myself i can tell that it is a very gray area meaning that whomever is taking a look at this and who depending on who the side is the, the situation will be completely different each and every individual time so i would not rely on fair use absolutely in no way shape or form just avoid using fair fair use unless it's the commentary uh because commentary usually is just a, the best case scenario for the fair use if you're just uh, having some things and using commentary for example if you're using a parts of the movie for example and just very very small chunks and giving a commentary on this music then you can say that it's a fair use and like many copyright holders will tell that it's fair use but some will say that no it's not a fair use you are not allowed to use any of my footage and they will still issue a corner strike or copyright or a copyright claim so you are dependent on on who is doing this so you have to do a research beforehand on those individuals who has a right or whether they're issuing copyright strikes or claims or not it is a very difficult to know um in advance i cannot help you with that uh, or saying that oh you know what sony is dangerous or nintendo is safe or uh, ea games games are very uh, safe or for example uh like bethesda's games are dangerous i cannot tell you about this because it changes constantly the thing that is safe now may not be safe in two months or in two years and your videos are on youtube forever so 
you need to figure all this out by yourself and just be very careful by using the material that is not yours or you do not have an explicit permission to use those material so be very 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 careful so this will be it for today let's go to the next one